Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Bass Pro Shops quad fold wagon. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to this in the description. So here are the features. It has a steel frame with powder coated finish, polyester fabric, ergonomic handle. It extends up to 45.7 inches. Quick and easy setup and fold with quad fold design. Length is 35 inches, width is 18.5 inches, and height is 22 inches. Max weight is 225 pounds. The weight of the wagon is 18.7 pounds. So let me get this open. Okay, let's take a look at the wheels while it's on my bench here. And the wheels have a seven inch diameter. Looks like the rear wheels are fixed and the front wheels are on casters, meaning the front would be the handle end. So when you're storing this, this bottom panel will fit around it. So let me get this on the floor so I can unfold it. Now this will stand up in the folded state. Obviously it's not super stable, but you can store it this way, which is nice. So it looks like there's a strap around here with Velcro. Pull that loose, and I assume this will just kind of open then. So now we can take the panel. And now the wagon's fully open. Looks like we did get some instructions here. It's kind of going over what I've already gone over, but it's pretty straightforward. So we have the handle over here. We can lift this up. It clicks in place and it has a latch to make it taller and it will come down. Let me actually angle this up. So it snaps into here so you can bring this out. On the side here, we do have these pockets that will lift over. We'll flap like that. And it's all set up and ready to go. So there are some Velcro straps down here, but it is also screwed on here. So this doesn't separate on 100% unless you take those screws out, it looks like. There might be something on the bottom too, I'm not sure. Let's try taking it down now. The handle has this pinch area here for lowering it down. And now it's in its storage form. Looks like this handle could come up, so you could transport it kind of like this. To let the handle back down though, you can't get to the little clip when it's in this position. So in this state, it's around 29 inches tall. It's about 11 inches in that dimension and about seven and a half in that dimension. So there are many uses for a wagon like this. The reason I got it is to carry my camping gear around from the car to the campsite. So I'm going to load this up with some gear and I'm going to pull it around my property at my house a little bit just to see how it handles. Okay, it's a little windy right now, so hopefully the audio comes through. Okay, so I'm outside and it was a little tricky to get through this door. This is actually a very narrow door over here. It's only 24 inches. The whole width is 48 inches, but half of it is 24 inches. So it fit through, but it's kind of tight on the inside of the house. So let's pull this around a little bit. So this is clipped up. This is all the way down, so you can't really pull this down and hitch it to something and pull it. It's not really meant for that either. So let's come off the concrete onto the ground. So this ground is actually very rough. A lot of rabbits burrow on this hill. A little rock there. <laughs> so that was very easy to pull. I think it's due to these large wheels. Now we have this in the better light, I'll show a little bit more around it. It has this pouch on here and actually have a mess kit. And this would be a perfect pouch for the mess kit. So if this has a little moisture on it, that can all dry out. And it has this solid pouch on the other side. So if you had a larger tent, you could pop this down and you could store it in the tent. This should fit through most larger tent doors, I would guess. So that's the Bass Pro Quad Fold Wagon. I think this is gonna be very helpful for carrying around my camping gear. 
Now I could take less stuff and everyone has their own definition of camping and that's fine. Some people like to have everything on their backpack, some like to use campers. I'm somewhere in the middle, but if it gets you outdoors and out of the house, then I'm all for it and I think this is really going to help with that. Another thing I just noticed here is you could get, say, some half inch plywood and cut it in half and put a hinge in the middle and you could set it on top of here and almost make this into like a little table. So that actually could be kind of slick. I may consider doing that. Here's a quick clip of it in the back of my Subaru Outback so you can see what it looks like when it's fit in a car. And this is one of the things I really like about this. This has nice square edges. You could like bump a cooler up against it or you could set something on top of it as long as it's not too heavy, but it fits in there real nicely. So one thing I do want to point out is that there's no super easy way to carry it when it's folded up like this. There's no like handle on the side, so you can't really carry it like a suitcase. You just kind of have to grab it in places and lift it in place. It's not a big issue, but I did want to point it out. But otherwise, I think this is going to work really well for what I'm wanting it for. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.